watching Beta Records and I'm Britt Burton and today we are here with Shyrock. I'm here with Pap and Chuck. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming today. How's it going? It's going well. So you guys recently just released your new album, Everything Burns. How did you guys start delving into putting together this album? Everything Burns has been kind of a work in progress for a long time. And I think that that's kind of the case with a lot of debut records. You've got like this whole history and this wealth of, of songs and, and uh, experiences to kind of draw from. Everything Burns is kind of about this idea that time is the most valuable commodity that any of us have. We want to make sure that what we're doing matters and that what we're doing is going to last and it's going to have an impact on people. I know that you guys have actually set up a nonprofit organization, Everything Burns. The organization is basically trying to encourage and equip people to get out and get involved and live for things that matter, whatever that may be. So what we did in February was we launched the whole thing with a tour to 14 different cities and in each city we partnered with a different charity that was working with homelessness and poverty issues. So just bringing those people at the shows together with a charity in their city, you know, that was saying this is what's going on in our city, this is exactly how you can help, whether you have an afternoon or a week or, you know, one day a week for a year and really getting those people plugged in. We want to do all kinds of stuff like taking fans of the band overseas and working with other organizations, all kinds of things. You know, music has this profound effect on you that, you know, I think like very little else really can. It reaches people in just a certain way. We want to use that platform. We don't just want that opportunity to go by. I know you did your own clothing line called yeah. iRock. We just kind of started out with designing a couple t-shirts and it, within a few months, like, uh, somebody had worn out like the Country Music Television Awards or something, and somebody else has worn them in a in a country music video or something. That's so you know, cool. We live in Nashville, so yeah, a lot of country stuff. Are you looking for a major label, or do you guys like just being on your independent? If I mean, if the right major label situation presented itself, I feel like we would definitely be really interested in that situation. We feel like in, in our current situation, we have such a great, easy channel to communicate with fans. You know, there's no in-between people. It's like us and the fans, and that's it.
Você